Alrighty guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing an educational rap god game on Father's Chapel as a solo queue survivor. We could already see the killer has craft intervention and seal the Jenny to my left hand side. Now do be mindful that we're going to be versing a Billy. I'm going to go through the middle of the map. I'm going to avoid the generator to the right hand side. I've got nothing to defend myself with over here and I can hear the killer's heartbeat on the edge of the map which is two, meaning he went through the center all the way there around the left hand side. I don't want to run all the way to the far end of the corner because that's going to lead towards giving the killer a three gen strat and I don't want to be able to do that but I do want to be able to work on this generator. I can hear a man behind me as well which is nice. Had a little bit of a look and it's going to take us a little bit of time to get a generator done with two people. It's going to be 45 seconds if we get no skill checks. Now, I don't currently know what is going on throughout the entire board. I can hear the Billy revving his chainsaw, but he didn't commit to the chainsaw rev. Therefore, I think he's actually making a mind game play on one of my other teammates. Therefore, one person is MIA looping the killer, who is not the assertion. Looking at the people here, that's going to be Scoot that is missing, unless the killer is going to be making a rotate around here. I can't actually see. That is a very fast-moving Billy. You can tell he's moving double Doom and Death add-ons. Therefore, he's got double movement speed. So he's going to be moving at 300% movement speed with a very long chainsaw rev, which is good to know. Hopefully, that guy jumps back down there and starts working on that Jenny 2. We're on a pretty small map too. So it's not going to be too bad for him to get around the board really quick. So giving him a three chain strat is not going to be the end of the world. He is going to be suffering a penalty to his chainsaw rest too. I got to keep in mind when I hear that chainsaw rev to either run straight at that wall. I'm not going to make the corner off that because he can come straight through and turn in and hit me. Depending on whether he's got his key bindings bound to a Q and E, he's going to be able to do some crazy turns around corners. I don't really want him to see me on barbecue and chili. He's most likely got barbecue corrupt pop goes a weasel, and I don't know his final perk. So we're going to keep pumping through this generator. I'm going to get information through Kindred of what is currently happening. We've got two people there and he can't actually see me. I don't think... Yes, he can see me. So we're going to leave him a little bit early here and it can just show you that how fast this man is moving. He's got a lot of pressure for that generator if he chooses to hit it with Pop Goes the Weeds. But he hears it's nowhere near done, which is fine. He's going to be chasing me down, which is nice. i got a bit to work with as well. Just going to run around the long wall, pay attention to which direction he goes. I'm not going to be able to hit me from that angle. He's got Bamboozled, noted. So we know his final perk. I gotta be very careful of some of his crazy spins. As you guys can see, he definitely has rebound his keys as well. He got a massive penalty for running into that, which is nice. Do I have something to work with here? I do. He let go of chase off me. He lost one generator for a two. He's lost two generators. He's back and chasing somebody else. That was a really close shave. He could have actually went for the hit there, but at the same time, I took predictable pathing by running through the tile the correct way. However, I should have went around for the long wall. He does have bamboos. I don't remember that. So now I know he's going to be trying to seal the window at every single opportunity he's got. We can hear the harpy, but we've got to be very mindful if we're trying to go from mind game here. We might actually sidestep wide rather than tight, and he could overspin it. He would try to respect the pallet too. He doesn't have room to have enduring on his build if he's running Pop Goes the Weasel. That's a pretty easy chainsaw hit for him as well when you think about it. The guy got greedy for the tile. He should have went around to the left-hand side and played the jungle gym on a small, shorter angle. There's no point in taking the hit. That was a really good pallet stun. I didn't think that lined up, and the guy didn't even get hit for it as well, so that is phenomenal value i got to be mindful of what I choose to do here because he could just turn and go for a chainsaw hit on me as well. I've got a nice tile to my left hand side. It's not very good against the killer with an instant down, but at the same time, I can still make it work. I'm not going to heal my teammate until I get pressure on this. He collided into the wall and he didn't break the pallet, which is nice. We can see he's currently looking at us right now. I don't think he's going to be able to turn and get that angle on me right now. And he's going to be going for this guy and probably go for the M1 rather than the chainsaw hit on him too. I know that he's got double chainsaw rev add ons, like I said earlier. It means he's going to be getting a massive penalty towards his chainsaw. One person's been unaccounted this entire time, and that's going to be the quarter. He's most likely working on the generator. I know Jake is all the way down here, but I checked too. He can't get an angle for the chainsaw in on me right now. So I'm in a pretty safe spot based on the fact that he has double rev add-ons. He could possibly come up here and get an M1 if I choose to green towards the pallet which, or towards the generator. I can drop down if I had balance signing, but I don't. And if I drop down, I'm going to stutter based on the fact that this is caught at then MIA Maya the entire time. She had plenty of time to do a Jenny and she wasn't. This is the issue with solo queue. Sometimes you have teammates that do things. Other times you have teammates that don't do things. I can see my t uh, my obsession is not in chase. Therefore, the guy who was injured, I do not know if he's in chase. I do not know if Jake's in chase. This is the obsession to my left-hand side. Looks like multiple people are going to be running DS in my trial as well which is going to be really good for us, but really bad for the killer. I don't think he's going to be committing to a tunnel too much anyways. We do want to leave this journey to the end of the game based on the location that the generator is in. He's got bamboozled, remember, so he can fast forward these windows pretty quickly. Hopefully the girl didn't drop down off the little lip. She did, and she managed to make a good distance between them. Now I've got to make sure we get one of these done based on the fact he has Pop Goes the Weasel. She's all the way right running down there, healing by the shack. We've got two generators nearly done. If we can get one of these done at least, it's going to be good. I'm kind of tempted to agree towards this because the other generator has a platform that we can work with. The Jenny is completed. These other two guys are not on generators, which is really bad, but I can run them towards the god. I want to run them right past this dude. All i got to do is wait and make sure he can't do anything about it. I'm trying to go for a moonwalk here. Nah, a little bit greedy on that for him. Not greedy for me, which was good. Yet again, greedy for him. And he tried to clip the corner. Cost him too much, though. 
it was coming up really fast behind me as well. We still got the generator upstairs that is nearly done, and he hasn't gone for any regression through uh, Pop Goes the Weasel, so I don't actually think he's got pops. It makes me kind of curious as to what kind of build this guy is going to be running. If we're going to take a step back, we know he's got Corrupt Intervention. He's probably got Thrilling Tremor or Barbecue, most likely Barbecue and Chili based on his movement around the board. Could be looking at Discordance and just going for some crazy chainsaw hits. He hasn't shown any form of anything else. Haven't seen Infectious Fright. I would have screamed if he had that in the other area nearby. Most likely going to be playing around the middle of the map based on the fact that that generator is at about 95% done. We can see his lights already up there. If they greeted for that, that would have gave us adrenaline, but they didn't. So I'm going to go all the way across the board to the left-hand side, which is a generator I wanted to leave to the end of the game. And I can actually see it's already been completed, which is bad, meaning we actually have two jennies on that side of the board. Unless this wasn't a completed jenny, it was a light I was looking at, which I'm actually thinking it was, so the generator should be over here. It is facing the wrong way, which is very bad, but at the same time, we can make it work. That guy has gone down, trying to greed for the jenny, most likely. He could have sidestepped and vaulted on the window, remember, but he chose not to unless the killer got the body block in the way. Knowing that he's got bamboozled as well, we kind of know what direction this guy's leaning in on at least three of his perks. It's unfortunate I missed that. If he comes over here, it's going to be good though. Don't get me wrong. Just want to look what these guys are doing. We've got one guy on a generator. The girl's going upstairs. He's going to come upstairs as well. She tapped that for the adrenaline. He tried to 99 it too, which is really good for him. I'm going to come in and save him once I open this door or prep this door to 99%. You can see she's coming in for the save, and she's going to get it down to time. Keep in mind, he can do an incredible curve based on the fact that the Billy changes his turning based off his start. So the Billy doesn't need spike shoes or any of that jazz when he is initially revving his chainsaw and letting go. That does assist him for the prolonged chainsaws. Now, it looks like this is going to be end the end of the trial. I could 99 the door and see if I can make a play around my teammate, but I'm actually going to dip out and get into the next trial, guys. So that was a GG educational game of us playing on a map, which is actually really killer side, believe it or not. His issue there was he was running double movement speed out, there was no chainsaw rev, so he couldn't clip those corners that he needed to. He was going that little bit too quick, and he was clipping on the hitbox, but there's an educational rank one survivor game for you. Unfortunately, I didn't get to loop the killer too long. I didn't really know what was happening throughout the trial, because I couldn't see too much, so I couldn't make all the educational rap god callouts that were possibly happening. But GG's, guys, if you're watching this one over at YouTube, I hope you had a wonderful time, and I'll see you in the fog next video. Take care, and uh, stay safe.